Hey, what's up everybody? We continue to celebrate Pride. Over the weekend, Verizon was the title sponsor of the LA Pride Festival and Parade. Casey was there to capture all of the excitement. Hey everyone, Casey here and we're at LA Pride where more than 300 V-teamers and their friends and family members represented Verizon by walking in the parade. I caught up with a few of them to find out exactly what this experience has been like. I think it's super important uh, when we talk about diversity and inclusion, that's such a core part of our value as Verizon. And showing up here today is not to just to show up, but also to make sure it's clear how much we support internally as a company, but also externally as a company for diversity and inclusion. And Pride is a very important part of that value. We even offered premium Verizon Up experiences with VIP tickets. Not only did our customers get to take advantage, we recognized one of our very own for all of his hard work, Tyler Vaughn. Greetings from backstage here at LA Pride. Just want to say thank you again for such a magical experience we've had here today with me and my partner Kai. We've been able to come back here and get the VIP experience backstage. We got a first-hand look at up close at the parade. Thank you so much to Verizon Up and the Up to Speed team for this awesome opportunity and helping us stay connected by Pride. It has been an absolutely amazing day here at LA Pride. Back to you guys. Thanks, Casey. And the documentary 5B presented by Riot had its Los Angeles premiere at LA Pride and will be in theaters starting June 14th. The film focuses on the stories of the nurses and caregivers who went to extraordinary lengths to comfort, protect, and care for the patients of the first HIV and AIDS ward unit in the United States at San Francisco General Hospital in 1983. The documentary will support Red's fight to end AIDS with a portion of 5B's net proceeds going to support the work of the Global Fund. And don't forget to tune into our Pride web cast tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. We'll hear from Craig Silman and Diego Scotti, as well as the executive director of PFLAG. You can check it out on VZ Web or on our Up to Speed Facebook page. We continue to highlight V-Team dads this week. Today, we're hearing from wireless wholesale leader Mario Turco, who says you've got to watch what you say in the digital age. Last year for Christmas, for instance, Mason decided instead of writing a letter to Santa, he went and he asked Alexa to send him all these items. He had ordered himself about $600 worth of toys without mommy and daddy knowing. He heard me ordering things through Alexa, so he just assumed all I have to do is ask Alexa and she'll bring them to me. That'll be a lot quicker than Santa. And finally today, we're reminded of the good that our employee relief fund, V2V, has done for more than 2,600 V-teamers since it launched six years ago. Hans wrote a letter after his recent trip to Wilmington, North Carolina that was devastated by Hurricane Florence last year. He saw firsthand how your donations have helped all of those who have been affected. And he asked everyone to contribute to the fun to make sure we have each other's backs in times of need. It's good to see all the folks in Wilmington doing much better. That will do it for us today. Have a great one. And until next time, you're up to speed.